In this video, I'm going to quickly cover congestion maps. In this scene, we have a whole bunch of agents trying to navigate to the goal using A star. And according to A star, the shortest path to the goal is through this small gap here. However, as we're going to find out, the shortest path isn't always the fastest. So I'm going to time them and see how long it takes them to get to the goal using normal A star without a congestion map. So as you can see, they're all trying to force their way through this small gap to get to the goal. And none of them are smart enough to just go around this corner here. And they're almost all there. And time. Okay, so that's about 28 seconds. Now I'm going to enable my congestion map, and what that does is uh, there are 25 zones or areas, and each area is going to count the number of agents inside of it and increase its area cost based off of that. This is going to cause places with a high amount of agents to have higher agent uh, to have higher area costs, meaning that agents not in that area are going to avoid entering that area. And what we'll see is that there's going to be a pileup here, but some of these agents aren't going to go through uh, this gap, and, so, uh, and a large amount of them are going to go around because they will know that it will be faster. So now I'm going to reset my timer, and I'm going to start this again and see how long it takes with a congestion map enabled. So I did only code this in about an hour, so it's not entirely perfect, but we can see that it does appear to be moving much smoother, and there's less stragglers, although there's a little bit of pile up there still. And I can stop the timer now. That's about 20 seconds, which I think it was 28 seconds before, so that's 8 seconds faster using a congestion map. 